Well, greetings and salutations, Series 24 test takers. This is Dean Tenney coming to you from my off-grid uh, studio with an explication request. This is Kaplan QID 143-2957. Uh, if you don't have a Kaplan QBank, I highly recommend it as a paid supplement. You can get a 15% discount on all Kaplan products and services with my Guru 15 discount code, where that commercial Kaplan allows me to give you a free look at Kaplan content. A market maker is quoting 1710, 1713. So I'm willing to buy this into my inventory at 1710. I'm willing to sell it out of my inventory at 1713. The size of my bid... Market makers buy it to bid uh, is uh, 1,200 shares, but it tells me that I have some customer buy limits as a part of that 1,200. So the size includes 500 uh, as a principal for myself, 300 for customer one, uh, 400 for customer two. This isn't about limit order protection in terms of me executing as a principal, where I've told people that if it's just me and a customer, one customer, that best practice would be to fill the customer first, but my minimum obligation would be whatever I do for me to do for the customer. That is not this situation. This has, situation is testing us on prime uh, price time priority, meaning that the person who goes to the front of the line for execution is the person that has the highest, in this case, bid. We're all sharing that at 1710 because remember the pi buy limits, customer's buy limit is my price or better on that bid, I shouldn't say highest, my my bid, then I have to display that, right? So of the 1,200 I'd be displaying, 500 is what I want for my inventory, and 300 is for a customer on a limit of 1,710, a buy limit. And uh, 400 is customer two with a buy limit of uh, 400 at the, uh, the bid of 1,710. All right, so this is about that, you know? Uh, and time priority, what this question about is not a, does not apply to market makers. So the market order is to sell 1,000 shares. So we're usually going to fill that based on time priority. But the what this question is about is time priority does not apply to the market maker and the bid that I have there for my 500 shares at 1710, right? So that's what this is about. You could have got this right with what I call the Sesame Street trick. One of these things is not like the other. You know, customer, market maker, market maker, market maker, right? So I'm going to take care of the customer since the customer uh, limit order protection price time priority, the time priority doesn't apply to the market maker. So that means now it's customer one gets filled first, 300. Customer two gets filled second, 400. That's 700. So uh, there's 1,000. So 300 left uh, for me. So that uh, would be three, seven, and three. So now i am uh, got 200 left there on the bid at 1710. So I wouldn't get too hung up on this. Uh, I think uh, the the challenge is it sounds like somebody's heard me say, which is usually the case, that my minimum obligation as a market maker is for whatever I do for me to do for the customer. That would only be in a situation where that is the testable issue. That is not the testable issue here. The testable issue here is that time priority, price time priority, time priority does not apply to the market maker. So therefore, that is why the answer is A. Hope you found that helpful, and I'll see you for the next explication request. If you have one, send them to explication request at guruexamprep.com.